everyone. I hope you're healthy, happy, and safe. Last week, I read you a book and I gave you two clues where I'd be reading from this week. The first clue was, it's closed right now. And the second clue was, it's where you go to swim. And if you guessed that I would be reading from a swimming pool, then you would be correct. I am at Fern Ridge Park, right by the Fern Swimming Pool, which right now has no water in it. Um, the book I'm going to be reading to you this week is Jabari Jumps, written and illustrated by Gaia Cornwall. Jabari Jumps, written and illustrated by Gaia Cornwall. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, up, and then they dove down, down, down. Splash! Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kids behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the end of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge. Jabari looked out. As far as he could see, he felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went. And then back up, whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. I hope you like that book. I loved it. I particularly love these illustrations, especially the one with Jabari on the end of the diving board with his toes curled around and the view of everything looking so far away down below. Um, I vividly remember the first time I jumped off of a high dive board and I was really scared. 
So I think they do a great job of getting that feeling across. I also love the dad and how he encourages Jabari in the book. Next week, I'll be reading another book in another location. Here are the three clues where I'll be reading from next week. The first clue is there are animals there. The second clue is it is not in the city. And the third clue is it's kind of noisy. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.